Hi, and welcome to Coach Roy's Pool School Classroom. We're here on episode six of our 14 episode course on how to teach pool to kids of all ages. Today is very exciting. Today we're going to take a look at the pendulum stroke. Now, so far we've done, uh, in our previous episodes, we've gone through our four core bridges, open, closed, rail, and extended rail, C-O-R-E. We've done grip, we've looked at stance, and we've looked at mechanical bridge. Now that we have the elements of bridge, stance, and grip, we're going to start to put it together. Now, why the pendulum stroke, you ask, is because there are a lot, a lot of strokes out there. there are, there's the J stroke, the slip stroke, level stroke. There are specialty strokes for uh, masse shots, for break shots. There, there are a lot of strokes out there, but why the pendulum stroke? The pendulum stroke is a fantastic stroke if you're teaching a new student or, new st or learning how to play the game. It's very simple. It eliminates a lot of the variables that, that make so many strokes so complex. It's a very simple, accurate stroke. Now let's break it, we're gonna break it down for you uh, when we do this. The pendulum stroke uh, looks like a pendulum, just like a pendulum of a clock. The elbow is up and the forearm just goes back and forth. Now, why, why is that so important? Because on many strokes where you drop your elbow, you're, you're putting into play your shoulder. The shoulder is a 360 degree joint, it goes all different directions. The wrist is a 360 degree joint. That's one of the reasons we did grip. We looked at grip before this episode took place. The order of these things is also very important. The pendulum stroke just uses the elbow, which is a 90 degree stroke, a 90 degree joint. Goes goes back and forth, and that's all we really want. We want to eliminate all the extra movement of the wrist and all the extra movement that would be involved with the shoulder. Now we're going to look at three parts of our pendulum stroke. Set, pause, and freeze. Uh, three steps to make a nice, accurate stroke. So let's start off, let's take a look at the set position. We have seen the set position before in episode three on grip. The grip and the forearm form a 90 degree angle with the cue when the tip of the cue is very close to the cue ball. The elbow remains up in that circle and we have a very nice 90 degree angle between the forearm and the cue. That is our set position. Okay, we've taken a good look at the set position. Let's take a look at pause and why pause is so important. Uh, you'll hear a lot of reasons. Many of, it, many of the reasons being that we're using different muscle groups to go back and forth. We're using the triceps and the back muscles to pull the arm back and we're using the biceps, the other set of muscles to go forward. And if we have uh, fast jerky movements, there's not gonna be a good transition from one muscle group to the other. So we want a nice clean, uh, we need want clean practice strokes and we need a nice clean pause in the back. The other reason is has to do with um, your, your, your eye pattern, your focus and what you're looking at and giving your brain, brain time to make some adjustments. And we will look at uh, eye patterns and, and things like vision center in, our, in one of the ep upcoming episodes. So for now, let's take a look at the pause position. Remember that the purpose of the pause is to allow smooth transition from one muscle group to the other in our stroke arm, as well as to give our eyes an opportunity to provide that information to our brain in terms of all the little nuances, speed, uh, and all the nuances for our shot. This, be a, this can be accomplished by an actual pause before 
the last forward movement of the of the cue stick uh, in your final stroke. It could be accomplished by a slight hesitation. It could be accomplished by a slow on the final stroke on your uh, when you're pulling the cue back before that final forward movement, a nice slow movement. It can be accomplished a number of different ways, but it all does the same thing. That little hesitation, that slow movement in the back allows our, our, for a nice smooth action on our stroke. Let's take a, a moment to look at practice strokes. Here Mia is practicing the striped ball drill that we were introduced to in episode four on stance. You notice that the cue is level. The her arm is at 90 degrees when the tip is close to the cue ball. And take a look at how far the tip comes back. The ferrule of the cue comes all the way back to the bridge hand. That's what we'd like to see when we're learning or teaching a practice stroke. We've gone through set position. We've gone through the pause position. We've gone through what a practice stroke is. Now let's take a look at uh, freeze. Now the freeze position is extremely important. Uh, we, we want to be able to limit our students' movement, stop them from jumping up. We want them to, to gather information about their stroke. How did they do? How can they improve? Now for my students, I ask them to practice and work on drills and to practice using an open bridge. Remember, open bridge from episode one, a nice, stable open bridge. Because using an open bridge gives a lot more information to both the student and to the teacher. Uh, if the cue stick pops up, that means the elbow came down. If the cue stick off the bridge hand goes to the right, that means the student pulled the cue towards their body. If it goes up to the left, that means that the student dropped it and moved it away from their body. Now all of this information, once you help the student realize, once you can help the student understand the importance of, of the freeze, the student will, it will help the student keep their head down, keep stable on the shot, and we'll give them information about each and every stroke. So let's take a look at the freeze position and how we can actually practice this. The freeze is the third part of our pendulum stroke trifecta. We have uh, the student has approached a table, uh, started in the set position, practice strokes have taken place, there's a pause or hesitation in the back, and now the final forward motion to strike the cue ball has, has occurred. You'll see that the elbow in all three stages stays in that red circle. The cue stick is still fairly level, uh, and the forward motion is completed. The cue ball is struck, and the tip has now gone three, four inches past the original location. Because we have a pendulum, because we have a pendulum stroke, the tip should come down towards the table. If the elbow is up stable, the tip will go follow through and come down. Let's take a look at what that looks like. This is a very simple drill to check your follow through and the completion of your pendulum stroke and check on the freeze position. After you've completed your practice strokes, uh, stay down on the shot. All we've, all we've done here is place a camera or you can place a smartphone on the rail uh, so you have a nice side view and see how far the tip of your cue is, is following through. If it's heading towards the table, that means your elbow is staying up. You're following through. You're getting good action on the cue ball and you have a nice... Uh, a nice clean stroke so take a set up your camera on the side of the table do a couple of rows this is just a version of the 15 uh, across drill that we saw in episode uh, three uh, when we did grip 
Uh, we're just not using the cue ball. All of these balls are acting as a cue ball, and uh, we're able to get a really nice view to see how consistent our follow-through is when we complete the freeze position. Now we've combined all of our elements to complete our stroke. We have the set, we have the pause, a little hesitation in the back, and the freeze on the final stroke. This is our pendulum stroke. It's a beautiful and accurate stroke, and it is a great stroke when you're learning how to play or when you are teaching somebody how to play pool. We've come to the end of episode six on the pendulum stroke. We've, re we've reviewed set, pause, freeze, and practice strokes. This gives a good foundation, a good start. In other episodes, in our following uh, other courses, we will work on how to fine tune the elements of, the, of this stroke and perhaps add some other strokes as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. Help us to grow the sport and help us to grow this channel. Thank you.